Hey, what's going on? Eric Cortina here. So we're back today. We are doing the forms on this foundation. The guys you can see right now, they are squaring everything up, make, making sure everything's perfectly square. Uh, last time we were here, we dug this ditch. So this one's ready to go. The other thing we have to do is drill into the concrete so we can put some dowels in there. Uh, we're gonna epoxy them into the concrete and that's gonna keep the uh, slabs from shifting uh when they're next to each other it's going to keep them pretty much going to tie them together so we're going to have to do that and then uh, like i said they're going to start working on the forms right now i'm going to get on that excavator and start trenching all the ditches here but uh you know while they work on the forms the other thing we're going to do here is we're going to we have to remove a portion of that sidewalk the one that's in front of the door because that's going to be new slab and uh, we're going to extend that sidewalk what we're going to do is we're going to turn uh, it's going to go in front of the neck in front of the new building to so have a sidewalk and then in front of the overhead door it's going to transition into a ramp so that we can drive in so that's the plan and like I said they're verifying all all the dimensions making sure everything's perfectly square. Looks like we did a really good job packing this pad. They're having to use a drill to drive the stakes in the ground. Anyway, so we got another ditch done. The forms, we got, well, they, they put up two sides of the forms and I got this ditch done. We're going down, we're going down 30 inches on these. And uh, so pretty deep. Like I said, I want this lab to be real thick because it's gonna have uh, it's gonna have machines. So I just that slab behind me, <laughs> it was never meant to have machines, but you know what? I went ahead and took a chance anyway, and it worked out. But uh, now that I'm adding this one on, I'm gonna make the slab beefy enough to put machines in here. Uh, so we're going uh, anywhere from six to seven inches thick, and 30 inch beams everywhere. Three quarter inch rebar in the beams, half inch rebar in the mat, 3,500 PSI concrete. We might go 4,000, but it's gonna be pretty beefy. And if you're wondering why that guy over there is taking a break, he just smashed his finger. <laughs> he just smashed his finger with a hammer. Man, he was jumping up and down. I've done it before. It, it's not that bad. It only hurts a lot for a long time. So <laughs> don't try it. Alarm goes on, friend, a quarter to five. Roll out of bed and rub the sleep from my eyes. Throw on a shirt and some jeans and my boots. And then it's time to make that morning dry. Work all day till I'm totally beat Get back home and fall right to sleep A long goes on in the morning and the cycle's complete Work, sleep, repeat So we got these uh, beams cut up the long ways. Now he's gonna go ahead and pack whatever's uh, left just to make sure it's nicely packed. And uh, the guys over here are drilling all the dowels for the, uh, they're drilling the foundation for the dowels. There's gonna be a lot of them. This green line right here, that's where the next ditch is gonna be. So we're gonna cut it. I'm gonna throw all the all the dirt this way. We're gonna push it out. Once we do that, we'll cut the next one. It's gonna be about here. We'll cut it, push all the dirt out. Once we do that, 
we'll cut the last one, which is going to be about right where the form ends, right here, and then uh, then we'll put the forms up. And at that point, it's time to do a rebar. Anyway, uh, that's what it looks like around here. <laughs> Long days. Proud how I can save myself from dying in this working life. And that alarm goes off again at 445. Roll out of bed and run the street from my eyes. Throw on a shirt and some jeans and my boots And then it's time to make that morning dry Well, there you have it. He's ready for rebar. So the next step is, uh, like I said, rebar. But before rebar, we're going to put a poly moisture barrier. It's a six mil uh, poly and uh, put it down. And that's just to keep the, uh, the vapor from coming through the slab. Um, so we're going to put that down and then we're going to do the rebar. Like I said, we're doing number four rebar on the mat number six in the beams and uh, the the building actually stops right here this right here is just going to be a sidewalk kind of like this one it's going to come around right here in the front it's going to be five feet it's going to go all the way to the other end and that's going to do a double purpose it's going to obviously serve as a uh, sidewalk but also as a ramp it's going to be a big door right here overhead door so it just uh, keeps the water off of the building and uh, uh, just, you know, creates a sidewalk. I was only going to, the original thought was to only go past the overhead door. But then it creates a weird area right there that kind of becomes a nightmare to cut grass. So I just went ahead and went straight the whole way. Anyway, that's what we got. Jason, thank you. Jason's been extremely helpful this uh, this week. Otherwise, I'd be out here by myself doing this. I will see you next time when we're going to be doing the rebar. Bye-bye.